John Gill, Exposition of the Bible. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 5. Reading the King James Version. First, quote, And the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patient waiting for Christ. Unquote. First, Second Thessalonians 3, 5, King James Version. John Gill, quote, And the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God, by which may be meant either the love which with God is loved, this is the sum and substance of the first and chief commandment in the law, and is what every man in a state of nature is destitute of. It is implanted in the heart and regeneration, and is a fruit of the Spirit of God, and where it is, it oftentimes grows cold and needs to be stirred up and reflamed by the Spirit of God, which may be intended by the directing of the heart into this, that is, to a lively exercise of it, or else the love with which God loves his people is designed, which is free, sovereign, unchangeable, and from everlasting to everlasting. And to have the heart directed into this is to be led into it directly, or by a straight line, as the word signifies, and not in a roundabout way, by works and duties, as the causes and conditions of it, and to be led further into it, so as to wade into these waters of the sanctuary, where the ankles to the knees, and from thence to the loins, and from thence till they become a broad river to swim in, or so as to comprehend the height and depth and length and breadth of this love, and to be rooted and grounded in it, and firmly persuaded of interest in it, and that nothing shall separate from it, and so as to have the heart sensibly affected with it. The phrase of directing the heart to God and to seek Him is used in the Septuagint in Second Chronicles chapter 19, verse 3. And this is not to be done by a believer himself or by the ministers of the gospel. The apostle could not do it, and therefore he prays the Lord to do it. By whom is meant the Spirit of God, since he is distinguished from God the Father, into whose love the heart is to be directed, and from Christ, a patient waiting, for whom it is also desired the heart may be directed into. And since it is his work to shed abroad the love of God in the heart, and to lead unto it and make application of it, and which is a proof of his deity for none has the direction management and government of the heart but god proverbs 21 verse 1 and in this passage of scripture appear all the three persons for here is the love of the father patient waiting for christ the spirit and the lord for it follows as another branch of the partition and into the patient waiting for christ or patience of Christ, as the Vulgate Latin and Arabic version render it, and may intend either that patience of which Christ was the subject and which appeared in his quiet submission to all, that outward meanness he did in his state of humiliation, in bearing the insults and reproaches of Satan, and in bearing the sins of his people, the wrath of God, and stokes of justice, in the manner he did, and for the saints to have their hearts directed into this patience of Christ is of great use unto them, to endear Christ unto them, to lead them into the greatness of his love and also of his person, and to make them more patient under the cross when they consider him and have him for an example, or else it may respect the grace of patience, which he is the author of, for all grace comes from him, and he from hence may be called the God of patience, as his word, which is the means of it, is the word of his patience, and it is by his strength that saints are strengthened unto all patience and long suffering, and to be directed into this or to the exercise of it, is of great use under the afflictions from the hand of God and under the reproaches and persecutions of men 
and under divine desertions and want of an answer of prayer and under the temptations of Satan and in an expectation of the heavenly glory. And the heart is never more in the exercise of this than when it is directed into the love of God. See Romans chapter 5 verse 2. Or this may refer to that patience of which Christ is the object and be understood, whether a patient bearing the cross for his sake, for every believer has a cross to take up and bear for Christ, and which is to be borne constantly, cheerfully, and patiently, and nothing more strongly animates to such a patient bearing of it than a sense of love of God, so that a being directed into that leads also to this, or, as our version points out, the sense it may be understood of a patient waiting for the second coming of Christ. Christ will certainly come a second time, though when he will come is uncertain, and his coming will be a very glorious in itself, and of great advantage to the saints. Hence it becomes them not only to believe it, hope for it, love it, and look for it, but to wait patiently for it, which being directed to by the Spirit of God, is of great use unto them in the present state of things. Unquote. The verse again, quote, And the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patient waiting for Christ. Unquote. End of John Gill, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 5.